You must have made a floor plan like this in Photoshop. This needs to stop. Now. But, did you know you can make a floor plan like this? Or like this, in twin motion. Okay. In this video, I will give a tutorial on how to make a floor plan using twin motion. Back again with me Rosh at Sinata Design. Okay, now we just go straight to the topic of discussion. Here, you can see, I've prepared 3D to put in twin motion. You can see here, I've deleted part of the door to later adjust it to the 2D floor plan that has been prepared. Okay, let's just get into the twin motion. When you have entered twin motion, you will choose a template. Here, we will choose the architecture template. You can see here, because we are going to make a floor plan, the background needed is the starting ground as the background for the floor plan. First I will try to replace the background with white. So here I will try several ways to change the background, starting with replacing it with other natural materials. Here I choose snowy land. After we change the material on the starting ground, we just import the prepared 3D into twin motion. You can see the import settings according to the video. Here, because there is a space between terrain and 3D, so I adjusted it again using the moving tool. After adjusting the height, then we go to the library, then click tools, then click the cube section. Point to 3D, then the slice is visible. Here, we can see, that the section does not cover the whole 3D. Therefore, we can adjust the section by using the scale tool, or you can use the number 9 as a hotkey. You can also adjust the height of the section using the move tool. Next, you go to media, then image, there you can choose the image template you want. But before that you have to set the position in the top view. Position 3D in the middle of the image. And this is the key, you have to use path tracing to create a rendering of the plan. Unlike Twinmotion 2021 and below, path tracing is very helpful because it makes the top view rendering not as raw as it used before. Because here I see that the background is still textured, so I change the background first. As you can see here, I used the texture that is on the texture plane, namely the base texture, and copied it to the terrain using a texture drop. Next, here we see the shadows produced by the template image are too long. Therefore, I decided to replace the lighting. Click more, then click lighting, then click more on environment. Then we go to the library, then click HDRI environments, then click skies, then select noon, then select clear. After that, drag the sky you chose into sky light HDRI like in the video.
The next step is to replace the material on the floor plan. You can replace the grass with the materials in twin motion, and also the ceramics in the house with the materials you want. After that, you can fill the garden with trees or grass. Next, we will export the image. Before we export, you can make settings on the image size format, you can choose a size of 2K to 16K. First select export, then click image and select the image template that you have edited. Next, click more at the bottom of the image, and the settings will appear. Here, you can edit refinement to max and turn on max lighting. After that, you go back to export then click start export. The last step is editing in Photoshop. Here, I did an edit using Color Effects Pro to sharpen the colors and details. You can use various ways to edit in Photoshop. For those of you who are very proficient at using Photoshop, you can use your own method. After that you enter the 2D floor plan concept image. Then adjust the position with the previously rendered twin motion image. And done. Voila! The floor plan drawing has been completed.
Okay, that's the tutorial for making a floor plan using Twinmotion. If you have criticisms and suggestions, you can submit them in the comments column below. And don't forget to subscribe too so I can develop better in the future. See you in the next video. Ciao!